there and welcome back to my channel subscription boxes and more with Michelle and if this is your first time here welcome and I sure hope it won't be your last what am I going to share with you today well guys I have a very mangled Timu package a little one look at that look how much they apparently they had to you know check it open it and check it and then I have another one here because this one's so small I thought we would do too this one I opened up to save us a little time. Let's dive in and see what this is. This actually, my mother ordered this one and the other one I ordered. So it'll be a surprise to both of us. All right, so the first thing is in this box. It's light. All right, let's see, it's not taped up, so we can just dive right into it. Now, if I had trouble finding prices for this order, it's because, like I said, my mom bought it and I did not. So I'll do my best to try to find prices. And if I can't, I apologize. Okay. It, well, the lid came off, but it's in styrofoam. Looks like a little delicate figurine. Aww. It's a little shelf sitter or plant sitter guy. And look, he's a fisherman. A little fisherman with a with a fish dangling on his line there. Aw, that is adorable. I know she had to have gotten this from my brother because my brother owns a catfish charter business on Lake Erie. He's uh, Captain Scott. And um, I'll try to remember to put a link to his business if I can. But anyways, this little guy sit on a shelf and look really super cute. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and try to put him away because he's got to travel from Missouri to Ohio and we don't want him to get broken. All right, so that is that little guy. Next thing in here. Okay. I think this may be a, a bra, a brassiere. Yep, it is. This is for my mama. That looks like it's it's made really well. It's got it's got padded cups. It's sort of a sports bra kind of deal. It's um, I'd say spandex. It's really stretchy. You don't have to worry about uh, any clasps or anything, which is good when you're old and arthritic. Um, a nice coral color. So that looks really comfortable and nice. I'll have to let you know because it's for her, so I have no idea. I can't try it on for you because it wouldn't probably, um, it might be my size, but what size is it? Does it say? It says it's a 4XL, so I'd say, you know, 40D uh, maybe. So there's that. What's this? Okay, this looks like a pack of um, hair clippies it looks like that's what it is these are like really um soft almost feel um they're so f smooth they almost feel velvety but they aren't i mean they're really nice feeling very um nice hinges that they're not at all uh cheap feeling um now i don't have much hair so we'll see if i can clip it in my hair and See if it holds. I just have no hair. My hair is so thin. Hey, it holds in my hair. That's nice. You know what? Come summer, I might have to borrow one of these, you know, when I'm working and getting hot and sweaty. And yeah, that is super nice. So there's this one. But look, there is this flower one. Let's see how it works. And then there's three different colors in here. The two, the same two designs, but three colors. There's this beige. Ouch. I poked myself with it. Um, yes, but I like, honestly, I like this one better. It seems to, I don't know, I like how it conforms, you know, because it got that curve. I like how it kind of conforms. Um, but this one's nice too. So there's the beige color, then there is a dark like coffee brown color or chocolate brown color and then there are black so the same two designs but over three colors can you see the the colors all right 
probably maybe if my hands weren't in the way. All right, so that's very nice. I wonder how much that costs. Again, I'll try to find the prices, but given I didn't buy them, I may not be able to get the prices. I, I'll do my best. Maybe I can get into her email or something like that and see. But she's a little private about those things. Um, here is a another hair thing. This is, I don't know what the flowers are called. Little like bluebells maybe. But it's really cute. It's kind of like cross between one of those jaw clippies and a hair barrette. Really. So it clips into this little hook. So let me see if I can make it fit into my hair. Again, I have super thin hair, so I don't know if I can get it to hold. I don't think so. I don't think my hair is going to be thick enough. So if you have super thin hair, these might not be the best for your hair. No, it's just gonna it's just gonna fall out. Um, but my mom has thick hair, so. Ugh. I got the thinning hair, you know, from being ill and taking a lot of medications and a lot of surgeries. And my dad's side of the family has uh, thin hair. My dad was bald on top. Anyway. Here it is. I didn't really show it to you. It's pretty, huh? So there's that one. I think she said there were other ones. Well, what's this? Alright, so we have some artificial nails that she bought for my sister. And she also wants my sister to put some on her as well. Just to see how they stay on her. See, the, trying to show you the design. Come on, don't be. Hopefully you can see that without it being too blurry. This is more of a ombre kind of thing. And these have like a blue line on them. And then there's the emery board inside there. All right, so there's those. And there's at least one more thing. Is that all? Nope, there's two more things. All right, so this is another hair doodaddy, as I like to call them. Oh, weirdo. This would match what I've got on, actually. And look at the beautiful butterfly. So it literally is a butterfly clip. I wonder if that one will fit me. I've got a thing for butterflies. See if that'll hold my hair. I don't know. Let's see. If my thumb didn't get stuck in it. That might hold for a little bit. I don't know if you can see it, but that might hold for a little bit. All right, that one's nice. Should like that one. And there's some, one other small thing, and that is a pen, like a lapel pen kind of thing, and it looks like it's cat shaped. I wonder who she bought that for. It's got two different backs. It's got the metal one, but it's also got a rubber one. Oh, it is a, it's a cat holding a knife between his teeth, because you know, cats get you in your sleep, kind of, you know. What? What I do? Kind of deal. There you go. That's funny. All right. That's that order. But I'm going to go ahead, since this is kind of a shorter video, and show you whatever's in here. Very odd shaped and, I guess, I pretty mangled. Somebody has cut it open and retaped it. And we're coming from the United States, so why are they opening my stuff? I think I might have just cut a package, trying to open it up. Wow, what is this? All right, 
Hmm. I hope they didn't mess up any of my stuff. Let me get it all out and put it in front of me because it's a mess here. Oh, they ruined my sticker. I'll show you in a minute. Oh, the mail people. It's got a lot of little things in this package and they've just destroyed it. I don't understand why they feel the need to destroy my things. I just ordered that again, but I can use it twice. All right, I think it's all in that mangled package. Okay, so the first thing is a cup that has a dome lid that you can put stuff in. I'll show you in a spoon. So this would be like, think of uh, making a yogurt parfait for on the go or something like that, or a salad and some toppings so you don't want your Where'd you go, scissors? I buried them under stuff. I need my scissors to get it open. Um, think you take a salad and then you've got salad toppings, like maybe a little bit of croutons, maybe some of those crispy onions, you know, um, things like that. That's what I like. A little bit of bacon bits. You know, things you don't want to necessarily get soggy. Um, I should say that. All right, we not up there. So anyway, you can keep it separated by having it in this dome part. See how it comes apart. I know it does. I saw it on the... Okay. Anyways, first you have a place for your spoon. It'd be nice if this was a spork, but it's a spoon. It's got a little groove here that it fits into. Slides right down in there. So you take it with. Take that out so I can get the lid off. I mean, I could just not be strong enough to untwist it. Okay. So there is... See? It's got this bottom to it. it so you keep your yogurt and fruit or whatever, your salad, whatever it is that you have in here, um, separate from the top contents, you know, something that you don't want to mix together. Uh, and that untwist, make sure you do it this way. <laughs> so your toppings stay in there, but it's rounded. So it's not like you can sit it on the table very easily uh, with stuff in it. Maybe you can sit it on there and it can weeble wobble, but so you fill it up, you twist it on there, don't twist it quite as tight as they did, and then voila, if you get it lined up, which I do not have, goodness, I think you hate it when things work properly except until you're on camera and then, and then you can't screw a lid on properly. All right, so anyways, it's a little crooked, but you get the gist. I'm not going to keep trying to screw it on properly, but there you go. You're on the go. You put it in your lunch box in your cooler and you've got your stuff to go. And I got it so that I can make things. Uh, I have, I need to be on a really high protein diet because I don't actually have a stomach. So I have to eat more protein and so I can get like yogurt and stuff and when I'm on the go appointments all day. I also have to eat every two hours. So that'll help me out. All right, here is something that has like, I don't know why I'm opening it and I'm not showing it to you. Um, multi effect fresh oral spray. So this is a breath spray. When you make no saliva, sometimes your breath can get a little funky, especially when you don't make no saliva and you drink a lot of coffee. So we're gonna try this out. It has a peach on the front, so hopefully it doesn't taste terrible. Here's the back of it. Here's the front of it. Little spray thing. Let's spray it in the air first, because I'm a chicken. It smells good. It's all over my face. Tastes all right. Um, it's got a little medic uh, medicinal kind of taste right at the end. It's all over my face. Um, go smear my makeup. I never wear makeup. When I do, I spray something all over me. Um, it does kind of have a peachy taste. It does have a little bit of a minty taste, but then it's got an underlying, like, medicinal something. Hopefully it helps your breath. So, there's that. All right. 
I have a white one and a black one. I'm going to open the black one because I think it would be easier to use. I'll open both of them. But anyway, let's open the black one first because I think it will be easier to see. It's in a bag and then it's in another bag because they do that a lot. It's a ring. It is a ring that is beaded on, on an elastic string. And I'm going to put it on my thumb and maybe you will be able to see what it is. Because I think my thumb's the only place it'll fit. Can you tell? Is it cat head? Come on now. I hope you can. It's a cat head. All right. And then there's a white one. Keep that little baggie for sure. You see somewhere there's a white one because I have black cats and white cats and black and white cats and white and black cats. I have six cats. I'm sure you've heard that before if you've been here before. But if this is your first time here, you may not know that. They're either black, white, black and white, or white and black. And yeah, there is a difference. All right. So I have, they, they came in two colors. I think two colors. It might have been a third color. Ouch. But I got the black one and the white one. Hopefully you can see both of them and tell that they're a cat head. And they're cute. Put them on together on my thumb because it's the only place it's going to fit. All right. Then I got some more. Um, oh, they start with a T. Torm tourmalin or something. Anyway, they're for sketching. They're to um, your graphite, your shading, for softening the lines and blending and also call them blending stumps. So I had already gotten a pack, but I got another one because one is not enough. Myra Plus. I think these are like something similar to a, um, supposedly, to a Micron pen. That's why I bought them, but now they do not look like that. Is this color pen? No. They're gel pens, like colored gel pens. Not what I thought I ordered. Okay, they're 0 0.5. And there's 12 of them. Hmm, not what I thought I ordered, guys. But that doesn't, I mean, I ordered a lot of things. So this may just be an, not the, the order I'm thinking of. You know what I mean? Because like I said, I ordered a lot of things. All right, so here there's a range of colors. I don't know if you can really see because we're white with the color inside. Let's, my notepad was just sitting here. And I buried it, I'm sure. Yep, I found it. Let's try and see the colors. I'll fast forward you so you can just see the end result. They write straight off the bat. No need to scribble to get them to flow. Yellow one may be harder to see. Don't ding me for having things out of order, please. I'm just testing them. And I tried to keep them kind of in a order that made a little bit of sense, but maybe completely backwards. I'm not the greatest at rainbow order. All right, so we have pink and red and orange and yellow and two different greens, two different blues, a purple, a, a black, and I think maybe a really dark blue and a brown. Um, I'm not 100% sure on that one if it's dark blue or... Yeah, it's a kind of a dark blue, navy, like really dark blue next to the black. I don't know how well you can see the different colors. The yellow may not show up as well, but... They all write very well. Use those in my Zentangles and stuff, right? Those over here. I'll try not to knock them on the floor. Don't fall. All right, I want you to see, this is after I straightened my sticker out. Uh, they really, really messed up my sticker. It's mouse, mouse, mice in a mouse hole. And it says over here on the sign, it's a public notice, no cats by order of the management. That's why that little sign says it's all crinkled up and see there's some mice looking out because I have six cats. I think that's hilarious. Now, it will likely go on a journal page uh, in my cat journal, but 
uh, I could put it down next to my baseboard in my house because it is cute. But I'm kind of wall-to-wall -wall furniture and stuff, so not sure where I would put it. Maybe even on the bottom of, you know, of a door. Or, like I said, in my cat journal is the most likely place. Uh, there's something in here. I'm not sure what that is. Let's open it and find out. It says TPA's mini hand in hand old couple. Ah, I know what it is. You know that whenever I see the old couple, I gotta buy them. And I found another one. Let me get them out of there. They're in a bag and then they're in another bag. These ones are standing, the other ones are sitting. These ones are standing. All right, no cat this time. She's got her little handbag there and her little glasses on. Don't let's show her, not him. Come on now. No, yeah, she's got little tiny like wire rim little glasses over her nose. It's hard to see. The painting is great, and they stand. This couple here, he is with his little glasses and his little cane. Stand side by side. They're holding hands. So you go this way and their hands actually, they hold hands. See? They do go hand in hand when they're standing. They work better. Aren't they adorable? I love them. I love the little couple. Because it makes me think of my husband and I. All right. Now we have a thing of lip gloss. It says Tasty Lip Gloss Rainbow Sugar by Romantic Bear. And I just like that it was rainbow striped and I'm wondering if it goes on clear or if there's some color or I'm trying to find a way to open it. Um, but I thought it was neat and I should have bought more than one because my grandchildren are going to want to steal this because come on it's all look at it it's all rainbowy and kids you know they're gonna like that I already have lipstick on but let's try it out and see if you're wondering i burnt myself i had um quesadilla and the cheese was so hot and it stretched out and it came out and it burnt me burnt me pretty good burnt my tongue I couldn't taste anything for days put a blister on my lip you know my tongue I think it might smell a little fruity I think I think Then, I mean, it has a slight, you know, lip glossy taste, if you know what I mean. It's a nice thick lip gloss, and it um, doesn't feel sticky. So I like that. Like I said, it may have a slight fruity smell. Um, I, It does seem like it has a little color to it. I don't know if you can tell, so I'm kind of worried about the yellow, green, and blue. But I don't know. Kids will like it. I probably won't be able to keep it more than this video and when they see it they're gonna be like oh, I want that so that'll be the end of caramel's lip gloss all right so the next thing I purchased was some hair doodaddies some hair barrettes two different ones in here but you can't guess the what's on the hair barrettes but you can't guess did you, did you say kitty cats? Nah. Of course not. Of course not. So, yeah, okay. It's kitty cats. Ah, uh, no. I just lost one of my ink pens. No, come back. Come back. Stay up there and behave your little self. And I even had a makeup brush fall from somewhere. Alright, so those are really cute. There. 
that packaging away. Then I have eraser pencils. So these pencils are not pencils at all. They are erasers all the way down. You sharpen them like you do a pencil and they come to more of a point so you can do more like fine erasing when you're sketching. So this is not lead, it is an eraser. And so there is, what, six of these? One, two, three, four, five, yep, six of those. And that's gonna go right in my art supplies. Love it. I think I ordered those again as well, because as soon as the kids see those, they're going to be like, I need one of those. Um, bought one of these already, and I'm real bad about rebuying the same thing, because I see it and think, man, I really like that. I should order it. And then I order it. And then I see it again and think, oh, I wanted to order that. So I order it. Well, now I have two of them, and I'm not even mad about it, because... I would just put one on my purse and one on my journal or something like that. This one's just a tad different. It's a little thing on the side. It's like a brass color instead of black. And I kind of like that better. So there it is. It has a little clasp up here that you can hook it to your journal or hook it to your bag or something. And it's faux leather, and it's got a band, and it comes open. It's got real pages that you can write. It's got quite a lot of them. And you can write phone numbers. You can write appointments. You can write, you know, little notes to yourself. But it has a band here, like a traveler's notebook. And so this can slip out. You can use this to measure and make a new one and slip it back in that band when this one's full, and you can use it again just like you can a traveler's notebook. I don't see them selling the inserts, so you'd have to make your own, I believe, but I've got two of them now. Here's the difference. This one's got like a black thing, and that one's got more of a brassy one. That's really the only one that one may be a little darker than the other. But I really liked it so much that I bought a second one. And so, let's see, that leaves, watch. Is that it? I think that is all, guys. That is my order for this time from Timu. Please tell me, what do you think? What did you like best? What did you not like? Have you tried Timu? Are you still afraid to try it? I'm telling you, it only takes about 10 days to ship. The prices are great. The product quality is really good. Uh, in my opinion, I, now I used to review things from Wish and things, uh, AliExpress, things like that. And I'm telling you, in my opinion, these items, most of them are better. Some are, you know, a few are the same, I guess. But most of them are better, better quality. may look like the same item, but the quality is just better. And you get it so much faster. And you get it mostly always together. Sometimes if you order twice in a day or something, they'll actually combine those orders. So your stuff isn't coming in scattered of one little package here, one little package there over two or three months. You're getting your stuff all at one time. And that is awesome. And 10 days, you know, uh, 10 days ish, that's not terrible for shipping time. Uh, and it ships from the U.S. and only to the U.S. at the moment. Uh, but hopefully we'll get, um, you know, they'll, they'll broaden that eventually, hopefully. So anyways, guys, tell me what your favorite items are. I really, really like the old couple. I always like them. So now I have three different sets of the old couple. And I've got a couple of sets of a younger couple. I really like that. I love these gel pens. Um, I'm loving this. Can't wait to try it out. Um, the Bretts are super cute with the cat heads. You know I'm going to love these erasers. I mean, I would love this if it wasn't so damaged, and I think I'm going to ask for a refund on it or a replacement. I'd really rather have a, a replacement. Um, so I'm very happy, and you saw the things my mom ordered, and I'm sure she'll be happy with those. So anyways, uh, with that, please give me a big old thumbs up because you know that truly does help my channel. It helps that algorithm to know that I have something worth sharing with you. 
And speaking of sharing, how about you share this video with family and friends? You never know them. I not have ever heard of Timu. And while you're down there doing that sharing, could you just hit that subscribe? It's free and that really helps me out more than I can say and brightens my day. Every time those numbers go up, I get excited. I'm like, yes, you know, it's very exciting, even if it just goes up by one. And it breaks my heart when it goes down. So yeah, let's keep it going up, shall we? I'm, I've got uh, over 1,700. Let's keep going. Let's get to 2,000. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching and for listening to me babble. And we know I like to do me some babbling. And I'll see you again in a minute in another video. I have a couple more orange bags over here. Bye, guys. I'm liking my order this time. I like it every time.